And now we move on to the next stage. Uh, we're in Poser, and I've brought my model into Poser using uh, the File Import uh, dialog, and for this demo, kept it as the color coded model, uh, and this to be clear here is um, I'm talking exercise is to create rigging bones for this model so that you'll be able to animate him. So we start with the figure, check that it looks okay. If I open the grouping tool, and this is just a check, I'm going to open the grouping tool and you can see as I navigate through, I'm clicking the little arrow here, you can see the different groups which are designated in UV Mapper. Uh, you probably can't see it on the uh, YouTube video, but uh, in the name field I'm checking to see that all my group names are correct. That they match the standard poser group names such as left thigh, hip, neck, left toe, abdomen and so on. And I can iterate through and make sure everything's correct. Okay, That is just as a check. I prefer not to use the grouping tool to actually do grouping, which might sound strange, but um, there we go. OK, with the model selected, I'm now going to go into the setup room. Uh, it gives me a pop-up saying uh, your currently selected prop will be turned into a figure once inside the setup room. This action is not undoable. Do you wish to continue? And yes, we do. So we go into the setup room. I found it best to use the uh, front or side camera when I'm adding bones. So I'm going to change to that now. I'm going to change to my front view. And we're good to go. Need to select uh, from my tools, I need to select my bone tool. Now, before I click it, be careful of the bone tool because every time you click, you will be adding a bone. So I'm going to pick it up carefully. I'm going to select uh, round about the hip area and then go click and drag, click and drag, click and drag all the way up through the hip, abdomen, chest, neck, and head. So we go click and drag, that's the hip, abdomen, here's the chest, there's the neck, and, okay. and at that point I will stop. I'll go over and I'll change tools to the translate tool. And the reason for that is, as I said at the start, if you've still got the bone tool in your um, as the active tool and you accidentally click somewhere, it's very easy to add bones and you'll click again wondering what happened and very soon you'll have a bone yard and you'll be you'll be lost. So we have and I'm going to now select and again I'm going to take the uh, menu here I'm going to select bone one and I'm going to use the menu rather than clicking the screen because it's more accurate. I'm going to select bone one and in my properties internal name, I'm going to type in the word hip and then the enter key and also the external name I also need that to be hip and type enter. It's the internal name that is most important the external names we could actually do later. So there's my hip the next one, body part bone 2 Bone 2, we actually want for the abdomen. We're matching up the body part group names that we have in the uh, model that we brought in. So Bone 2, internal name, abdomen. Remember to type the enter key when you're finished and that will make it active. Now number 3, body parts, Bone 3 and this will be the chest. And I will do the external while I'll be at it. Then we have the neck. That's bone four. And the external neck. And lastly, I'm going to have the head OK, and one I'm going to tidy up on is the ex external name for the abdomen. Let's 
just me keeping it tidy. Okay, so we've now got body parts for hip, abdomen, chest, neck and head. Now I'm going to open the joint parameter window. There we are, the joint editor. I'm going to select the hip. And what I'm going to do here is make sure everything's centered. Uh, you can see here I've got the center point. Not too worried at this point about the end point. Sorry, the um, center point X needs to be zero, which it is. The end point X also needs to be zero. I'm just centering it up. So I'm going to type that in. The next one up will be the abdomen. And this one I'll make sure that the center is on the X axis, zero. Up one more. Chest. That's zero. Neck, zero. And the head, zero and a zero endpoint. This just helps to keep it symmetrical. Uh, the next thing we need to do is to ensure that the joint order is what we want. That's this the bottom panel of the joint editor. It's very important that the first letter in the joint order is axial to the body part. So for uh, torso and legs this will tend to be Y. For arms it will tend to be X. Uh, the second and third letter is less important uh, so um, we'll stick with that. We'll make sure that the head needs to have Y rotation first, which it does. We'll check the neck. That's got Y and so on down, body parts, abdomen. All the way through. It's most important that you get those rotation orders correct. Now we'll go to the side view, camera view left, and you can see there that the, the bones are actually more or less in the middle of the body, so I'm going to leave it there. Okay, We can fine tune later. Go back to the, the front camera. Uh, the next I need to do are the arms. So what I'm going to do is start by selecting the chest. That's going to be my active bone. I now pick up my bone tool carefully, select the middle of the chest and drag towards the collar. Give me my collarbone followed by the shoulder, followed by the forearm, followed by the other. I've not um, subdivided the fingers for this example. Okay, once we've done that, we can do the same on the other side. Use the drop down menu to select the chest. Because remember, I've got the bone tool in my hand. If I start clicking where I don't want to with that, I'll be in trouble. Select the chest, center of the bone, drag out for a collar, drag out for a forearm, sorry, drag out for a forearm for a hand. And then at that point change tools, go for my translation and now I can start positioning the bones. I only need to do one side because I can do symmetry for the other.